Okay, as I promised, this is the second tutorial for doing some HTML and CSS. And so hopefully this one's going to be a little bit more fun. You're going to get a little bit more gratification from maybe producing something that, um, that you know, that, that looks that a little bit nicer and it's something that you feel like you accomplished something. Um, so as I mentioned before, uh, UI Kit is a great framework to get started with. Um, and so um, as I mentioned before, UI Kit's got a big library, and um, I'm going to go ahead and take you to something. And what we're going to do is we're going to work on some cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and click here, and they've got documentation. And so right here, they've got a class called UI, uh, UK Card, and it says add this class to a div element. Then it's got UK Card Body, and it says add this class to create padding between the card and its content. And then it's got uh, well, think something called UK card title. And here you go. And so you look at the markup and you can kind of see what they did. And so even some of these things, they made it very human readable to where if I look at this, um, this seems to indicate that it's only gonna be taking up half the size. And it does look like it's about 50%. They use UK card, UK card uh, default, and UK card body. Um, I'm looking at this default. So this default kind of adds a uh, visually style box. And then if I go down, I kind of see that there's some different options that I could do primary, secondary. And they also got something for hover. That's kind of cool, especially if I've made that really linkable. Okay, so there's a lot of different kind of things you can kind of mix and match and kind of add on tags. It's kind of cool. Um, you know, I'm going to say that I really like this one right here. So let's go ahead and say, let's grab this tag. And we're going to go to VS Code. And I'm going to go ahead and I almost always create a div and it's going to be called ID equals main just something to teach you along the way an ID is something that is a unique name to something and so I like to just be able to have that tag and know it's definitely that particular ID especially for things that are very um, sort of fundamental in my code they're kind of at the root okay so there is this div um, something that's a good practice is to put a comment and it will just be slash main slash that pound means it's an ID um, that's a pretty good practice I would say and then we have that code let's go back there got to grab it again Okay, so uh, here's some of that code that we got. Um, this might be more code than I was bargaining for. No, it looks like it's okay. All right. Okay, so uh, this should show that there's a title of my first cards. It's in this main thing, and there is this kind of uh, first div right here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and give that an ID of my cards. I'm going to be able to stylize that later. Okay, there we go. So like I anticipated, uh, we got an H1 tag, we got the card, we hover over and it kind of shows up. Now let's say I want two cards. Okay. Well, Right here at the example, I do see that they've got something where I can put in a grid. Okay. And kind of like I showed you, I set up a shortcut key, but a comment is just basically these brackets, exclamation point, two dashes, and you put something in here. And this is going to be pound my cards. The reason why I do this is sometimes, in fact, always your HTML will get very large and you're going to have a hard time tracking these down. Okay. Let's go ahead and put one more in here and it's going to be my, oops, 
actually this one is going to be for the grid you know I'm realizing what I want to do is this is kind of unnecessary don't really need this I'm gonna go ahead and put it in this div sorry if I'm confusing you so right here um, I see that it opens and closes this set of my cards there's this one div over here this is the one for main another thing that you could do uh, to help you out is go ahead and oops you can go ahead and hit tab and that kind of indents it over okay and if I didn't mess anything up okay let's go ahead and see if we can We can say UK card. Okay, so let's go ahead and copy and paste that. Okay, so we got two cards. And I'm gonna go ahead and say card one. Let's go ahead and say card two. Okay. There we go. Okay. Got two cards. Now something immediately I know that I do not like is I don't like the fact that um, there's very little spacing. So it says this will apply smaller padding. Okay. So let's go ahead and I think it does have the padding UK card. Small. Okay, that did change that padding. And what will change the spacing between these ones? Okay, let's try this. There's a UK grid small. Uh-huh. Okay. You know, <clears throat> Actually, what I realize is I actually should have a div uh, in here. And something that's not good is, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and indent these guys, indent this one. And, you know, here's a little shortcut as you can hit div, hit carriage return and automatically pops up okay let's go ahead and tab that over and let's see if that helps out <clears throat> okay looks like it did um, see that there is this kind of syntax if you notice that let's go ahead and come back over here and there we go Okay, now uh, something that I would like to do uh, before I leave you is maybe let's see if we can get these the width of this kind of main div a little bit narrower. Um, so let's say, say width, 980 pixels. Let's see what that does. There we go. Okay. And Gonna go ahead and there's a trick to make a div kind of even though it's 980 pixels the div can float in the center a div is just kind of uh, an element that really you you can um, use it it's kind of a division it's a section of code um, but now that I have it tagged I'm able to manipulate it through the CSS so let's go ahead and say 11 pixels up at the top and this auto is what's gonna give it this kind of, hopefully this is gonna center. There you go, just centered. Now, uh, let's say uh, I want that H1 to be a little bigger. I can go ahead and say 34 pixels and let's go ahead and say font weight equals bold. Okay, actually I didn't make it bigger, I made it smaller. 
Well, there you go. Okay, so that was basically the very first uh, sort of tutorial where you get to see some visual progress. Um, hopefully you get to see that. Um, you know, I'm not an expert, but basically I can ha I have a process where if I make a mistake, I can always refresh and try again. And I also have references on the internet. And I also have VS Code as a helper to give, it's called IntelliSense. Um, as I type, it kind of has little things that come up and kind of give me um, choices to, to choose from. So there you have it. Hopefully you see that um, this kind of first example, getting your foot started, um, getting your foot um, in the door with HTML, CSS is not that hard. Um, again, I know we didn't make anything kind of glorious right here, but this is kind of a start. And the main thing is, is that you have this process in a way, if you don't know something, you have a way to look it up and little by little, you can just kind of tack on something new to learn. Uh, I want to put in a link and, you know, and you can celebrate that little success that I've got five pages and they all link to each other. Uh, step two, you know, I'd like that link to look kind of cool. Step three, maybe I want there to be an, a button that's actually an image and I'm going to link that. In this kind of way, you kind of build upon that foundation. Uh, so there you have it. Uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. Thanks for sticking with me on this second tutorial. Mm -hmm.